What's up guys, the Clip Shiro, welcome back to another daily video and believe it or not, but Apple has just dropped iOS 11 beta 9 and it usually happens on Tuesday, but today they decided to make it on the other day, you know, kind of strange, but anyways, let's go ahead and get started guys and let's take a look at all of the new features and changes in this exact beta. And okay guys, so this beta was around 38 megabytes on my iPhone 6s here and comparing this to the previous one, it is about one and a half times smaller than the previous iOS 11 beta 8 and now let's go ahead and take a look at the build number in here so this is 15a 5370a and if we have the a at the end that means that this is not the final version so this is not the gm however i wanted this to be the gm i really thought that this would be the gm but unfortunately this is not and we may also see the ios 11 beta 10 next week on tuesday now let's go ahead and take a look at the features so first of all the feature which i found myself I'm not sure if it was present before and you can actually go ahead and go to your settings in about and click on the model and if you click on the model as you can see that's changing the number because this number is about your particular phone and this one is about the carrier so you may find this number on the back of your device this one is about the control center and older devices now on the newer devices this issue has been fixed and this is about um, the uh, volume controls and about the brightness control so when you're trying to you know kind of toggle the brightness to some level uh, this would give you something like this as you can see this black bar on top but now this has been fixed so now as you can see that's fully covered and there was an issue on the iPads when you try to actually split the keyboard it would give you a pretty bad animation pretty laggy animation but now it has been replaced and fixed and that should be pretty much it for the features of the iOS 11 beta 9 for now it is so hard to finally find something you know that has been changed in this beta because these updates are getting smaller and smaller each and every time and you know it's um, almost impossible to find something new in here but anyways I can tell there they are pretty usable you can of course go ahead and install this one on your device and I can say that my iPhone success doesn't feel slower it only feels a little bit faster you know in every single beta so that's a good sign oh yeah and almost forgot to say i'm gonna be also writing about this beta on my blog this is appledigger.com and most importantly i'm gonna be also including the ota profile as well as the links for every single device so you can go ahead and download the apsw from the website really soon and yeah apple also confirmed the official release dates of the iphone 8 and of course the ios 11 so we will see this one at september 12th and i think i will also try to test uh, the ios 11 on my iPhone 5s as well so for those who are interested please stick around so I'll be testing this one on my channel and yeah guys uh, of course if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a huge thumbs up so that will be so so much appreciated like always please share this video as well and as always guys I hope to see you around in my next one and peace out